Hey everyone, I'm here with a walkthrough of Mission 7 and Dishonored 2. Uh, this is the one where you gotta do all sorts of stuff with time traveling and whatnot. And uh, uh, basically, when you drop down to this room here with the dude playing piano, you're gonna get the timepiece. So basically, when you head into this mansion, go up the stairs, head to the right, and you'll drop down into this room. You can kind of see me do it in the sped up footage there at the start. I just look up where it came from. And when you press F, at least on PC, the key that you typically interact with things, it'll unfold and you'll be able to see the, like this window through time. And when you right click, or uh, what does right click do again? Um, your power, whichever button is your power. Um, then you'll be able to travel through time. And when you first come through here and travel through time, you're stuck in this room. This door is locked and you have no way to get out because you can't use your powers in this mission. The only thing you can really use is this timepiece. And if you listen to these two talk, you basically hear that there's a, a code to get into the other room, and that's the whole objective of this mission, but you kinda gotta solve a couple puzzles first. And in order to get to this room, you're gonna see me in a second head over to that door that I was just staring at, but all you need to do is step on the other side of it, and then use your timepiece, and now the door is going to be closed behind you. That's where you came from, but you're in the main hall. So I'm kind of just uh, spe speeding up this footage again. You see me heading towards this. Um, I pass the kitchen from the main hall, and then I head to this like dining area. I gotta you know go back and forth through time a bit. You can see on that note there it mentions the dining room here on the main floor. There's these big two statues, and then I'm traveling back and forth through time, taking out all these guys. And once you do that, as I loot everything here, um, you can head to this room where you can see this vault. And you go back through time forward, step into the vault, and then I'm going to reactivate it and head back in time. And then there's a statue hanging in the room. If you break it, it'll fall. And then you go back to the present, and the statue's not there. Because if the statue was broken, they would have never moved it, and it would never be blocking this little, uh, this little hole in the wall. And now we're in another room here, um, speeding it up as you see me walking around, but basically what you're looking for is the desk in the corner, in the past, and in the present there's this like pile of rubble. So you see here how the pile of rubble, as I look through time, I can see that there's a desk there. Crawl under the desk, and then I'm just kind of mashing it here, it's not 100% working, and then you're on the other side of the wall. Congratulations. That's that puzzle solved. Uh, so I go smash this uh, hive thing, and then I'm looking around in this room looting stuff, and I figured it out by reading that note that what you got to do is you got to actually pick up that dog, you carry him into the furnace, and you close it, and then you burn it. Because if that dog was never there, then the blood flies won't ever have came, and they won't be blocking the doorway behind you in the present. So you see, I'm letting him burn, and then once the little light shuts off there, I go back, and the doorway is unblocked. And you can also see that uh, 238 is the code for this vault. So I go ahead and do that, 238, and uh, I think you just get some gold and maybe like a blueprint or something like that. Oh, right, you get a black bone charm, so you should definitely pick that up. I don't remember what it is, but I remember it being pretty good. Um, Okay, so now from here, you're kind of going to head into this uh, uh, like main central area. And from here, you can pretty much head um, to the door where you need to be, but I'm going to show you how to get a rune really quick and a bone charm. If you head downstairs on the left side there of the main staircase, you'll go into the basement, you read this note, and you see that there's this water leak. And... Uh, off to the side, off to the left of this hole in the wall. Um, you can't get through there. I'm just like trying, shooting those things, getting rid of the bugs. So when I do get in there, so yeah, grab that valve, you throw it through the hole. Even though I don't do it there. But that's what you gotta do. I'm also gonna show you the bone charm now. So you head into the elevator. I kind of doing two things at once here. Um, head into the elevator. Uh, I ride it up to the first floor. And then you activate it. And you go to the bone charm, drop back down. And then this is where you get the valve. You can see me in a second. 
it's only there in the past. So you go to the past, grab the thing, throw it in there, and then present. Grab it, put it on the wall, turn it, and it drains. Get the rune, get the achievement. And then, yeah, back in the main area, if you travel through time, you can just go uh, through the door outside this area. But be warned that, as you see right there, when you travel back in time, there's like a ton of blood bug things, so watch out for that. And then off to the side, there is the uh, scaffold, and you can just run along it and come up behind this area. I actually jump off the scaffold and then I realize I need to get back up on it. Jump into it and then there you go. Grab the thing and you can head back inside and then you get the code for this which is I think 947. You see me here do it in a second. But that's it. Those are really all the puzzles that you need to solve. Um, after that uh, it's just story so um, you can see the story for yourself, I won't spoil any of that, but, uh, yep, likes, comments, always appreciated, um, subscribe if you're into that, but until next time, bye for now.